Hello and welcome to Green Ecology. In this video, we're going to be talking about viviparous animals, what they are, their characteristics, and examples. We'll also add some fun facts about these animals. Let's dive right in. What are viviparous animals? Viviparous animals are those who produce living young instead of laying eggs. In other words, this term makes reference to the type of reproduction an animal has. This way, after mating, the embryois grows and develops for a certain time within the female's womb, where their respiratory and nutritional needs are covered until they're mature enough to be born. Characteristics of viviparous animals The main characteristics of viviparous animals, which allows us to identify and differentiate them from animals with other types of reproduction, are the following. Direct birth of live young Internal fertilization by male individuals to females, different sexual reproductive organs, and different mating strategies to carry out said fertilization, which will allow the development of the embryos in a viviparous manner. Embryos grow and develop within the mother, either in a placental or non-placental system, thus receiving directly the food they need to grow through an umbilical cord that directly connects the mother's bloodstreams with the embryos. After birth, the offsprings need to be breastfed by their mothers during a certain period of lactation. This is in the case of mammals. In the other groups of viviparous animals, the young are already born prepared to face the new environmental conditions and feed on their own. Fun fact! There are also living plants that germinate their seeds before detaching them from the plant. Once germinated, they fall to the ground and take root right next to the mother plant. Among the types of reproduction of viviparous animals, we can differentiate the following types. Marsupial viviparity is characterized by the absence of a placenta, so that the fetus is born in a premature state that forces the mother to provide new protection and feeding conditions until its full development. This is the case of the so-called marsupials, in which the females have an outer bag or pouch in which they transport and care for their young. Placental viviparity corresponds to the most developed of the types of viviparous reproduction. It is characterized by the presence of the placental system inside the pregnant female's womb, which provides protection and nourishment to the embryos during their development. Ovoviviparous is a combination of the previous two. The females give birth to live young, which hatch from eggs internally. For this, during the internal embryonic development, the embryos are nourished by the reserves of the egg yolk in which they are immersed. This is because there's no placental system that connects the mother and the embryos during gestation. And that's all for today's video. If you're a nature lover like us, don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come. We'll see you next time.